What up, y'all? It is a most magnificent um, March day here. It's about 70 degrees right now. The high is supposed to be around 76 or so. And it's going to be in the upper 70s all week long. So, really feeling springtime. You know, really digging it. And we have some updates with some palmage, so check that out. That's green, baby. That's green. Look on the other side. That's green, baby. That's green. With this one, it was human error. I burnt it all the way through. And I was an idiot. Um... The C9 bulbs really messed me up this year. I'm gonna, I've changed up, decided to change up how I go about things. So, um, that won't happen next year. But, as you can see, been pushing a lot of new growth out of there. So, it should make a full recovery in no time. The windmill is unfazed by anything you throw at it. I'll tell you what, I could probably light this thing on fire and it would still stay green. So, as with that. We got some sad news with this pindo here. I had a spear pole the other day and I've been treating it for spear pole. And I think the reason why that happened is because of how wet it was earlier on in this winter and how just how it stayed wet for weeks and weeks. And you know, the spear only pulled about a week ago. And I, I mean, everything else is solid. You know, nothing's given if I tug on it, but I've been treating it for spear pole, you know, been putting um, hydrogen peroxide in there every couple days and then soaking it up with um, a paper towel so it stays dry and also kills the disease. Um, leaves are still looking good. Maybe, hopefully, it'll make a comeback. It wasn't so the spear pulled, but like the bottom of the pulled spear was still like living tissue like it wasn't rotten you know but it, it, it did have like a section that was in the process of rotting um but it wasn't completely rotted yet so i i think i caught it at a decent time but who knows man i mean these things are they don't take the wet for long periods of time very well and we had a pretty wet winter unfortunately um so who knows, maybe it'll make a comeback. I'm hoping it does for sure. You know, because it was a real nice specimen. But we'll see. Um, I have hope for it. At least that's all I can say. So yeah, that Mexican fan over there going to be making a full recovery soon enough. It's been growing. So, been looking real nice. Over here trimmed up this sago i trimmed up the one in the front too um and this guy is you know it's seeing 18 degrees and still no spear pull and it's looking fine so hopefully it'll wake up soon and start growing uh i don't even know where my pineapple went here it is no idea what's gonna happen with that bird of paradise seem to have made it um again human error with this one had to chop it um, it has growth in there, though, so we'll be all right. But I'll tell you what, those C9 bulbs really messed me up this year. Um, but bananas are good. Livestona is green and delicious. Check out that stump, dude. I mean, that is something else right there. See how nice they look. Like, crazy good, you know. Love my Livestona. Sago, the only one with some green, you know, still on it and... I'm just gonna wait to trim these off till it maybe starts growing again, but who knows? Anyway, um, things are, they're starting to, starting to come back. We've had a couple real warm days in the 70s, and this is day three of that, so we will see. Hopefully everything will pull through. Well, everything has pulled through. Maybe minus the pendo, but my pride and joy here my pride and joy mexican fan palm looks to be coming back so can't complain about that too much 
I need to take this hoodie off. It's getting hot. It's probably around mid 70s now. But thank you all for watching. Thought I'd do a little update. And I'll see y'all soon. Later.